<laughs> oh hello wild ones it's a chilly day in november and i'm here in the woods today wearing tonight's shelter quite wet under there hello you guys so i have tried a poncho tarp before and it's okay but this here is more of a poncho tent so this part here that i'm wearing is actually a 640 gram poncho which is also going to be the fly of my tent it's going to go up with my trekking pole and of course you can just use it nice and basic kind of like a tarp shelter but this also comes with an optional mesh tent insert that i can pop underneath the fly to turn it into a tent one tigress call this a multi-use raincoat configurable outdoor tent as you can see this is an exceptionally good look and these sleeves are going to form the vents for my tent which is kind of cool although if it were raining right now i could see that my arms would be getting wet which is not so cool it's also got a hood oh yeah i am expecting some rain so hopefully we'll get to test this out in some soggy conditions and see how practical it is and if it's raining tomorrow we'll be walking home wearing it as well so we'll see how it is to wear as a poncho right let's get it up okay so i've cleared a little space down here and apparently all i need to do is lay out this poncho on the ground, peg the corners in, and then stick my trekking pole in at 125 centimetres. So this has come in with six lovely green pegs and three guy lines. So this is on 125 already. Oh, that doesn't go in. Okay, so what am I doing wrong here? I need to take these front corners out then put the pole in. Oh yeah, yeah, okay. So I've pegged in, Ooh. so I've taken those two front pegs out, just put the three back ones in, and now the pole is in, and let's go that down here, and then hopefully get these corners in. That's better. So this is just the poncho fly and I think now I've got to guy out these little arm bits here as my vents. So it comes with two guy lines for that. It doesn't come with the pegs for it. So luckily I've got some extra pegs. Let's do that now. All right. So that is our fly all up. And of course you could just use it like this, put a ground sheet down and camp nice and open. But today I'm gonna to use this mesh tent that goes underneath. I've not opened it yet. So this weighs 680 grams and it's going to fit under here. I'm not actually sure how this fits in it. So I'm guessing these little corner bits just get pegged in. Let's try. Oh. No, that doesn't work. It's got to come back a bit. No. This is a lot of faffing about. And if it was raining right now, I'd be getting totally drenched. So this has got a little hoop here that it looks like your trekking bowl goes into. So maybe the trekking pole is supposed to be the other way around. Or does this bungee just attached to something which i don't know let's try and flip the trekking pole oh it's so sad to make it go down but i'm pretty sure that it's supposed to go in there like that and then onto this reinforced panel here you don't want to rip the tent fabric of course yeah look that makes sense <sighs> okay Oh yeah, that looks good, doesn't it? Okay, I don't know what these little bits of bungee are for, but I'm gonna use one of these guy lines to pull it out a little bit at the back. The bottom of the mesh inner tent's very close to the edge of the fly. And I'm worried it's gonna slip like that and water's gonna come in so maybe if i pull it out here and then tighten this peg as well here that might sort that out because 
can't really move the mesh tent any further forward because otherwise the rain will come in this side. Let's try it. Let's go see how this blends in. I think it's quite a good colour actually. Over by the path here and that blends pretty well. Yeah, it's nice. I really like that colour. Little toggle there. Nice headroom, 125 centimetres because that's what your pole's set up, but of course that's only right in the middle. This is a nice little space to sleep in. That's about all it is though, because of course you've got no vestibule. There's nowhere to store your stuff. It's all got to be in here. You have got a little space behind the tent mesh, but there's no way to access it unless maybe you go around the back and stick your rucksack under there when you don't need it anymore. That might work, I might do that. So we've got an interior floor space in here of 260 by 85 centimetres. And that's got to take all of our gear, everything, because of no vestibule. Ah, I bought my little table today. It's pretty cool, huh? Got me a little hot water bottle today as well. I have never bought a hot water bottle camping before. This is my gas canister lantern. And I use this to not only give me a cosy warm glow, but it uses up these half empty canisters that I've got knocking around. I've got quite a few of them. Right, that's my rucksack empty. So I think now that I don't need this anymore, I'm gonna stick it in that spare bit of space around the back, out of the way. Oh, that's everything. I'm gonna get in and get sorted and settled now. a little hook up here for a light. Right, let me show you guys round in here. So we've got limited space, of course. I've got my sleep system on this side closest to the door. And over there, that's my clothes, my cute little med kit and my toiletries and things like that. And in my little gone camping bag here, I've got my waterproofs and a microfiber towel in case I need it later, but I've also bought my really light DCF tarp. My thinking is if it rains and this starts letting water in, which it might because there's just no overhang on this at all, then I can use my little mini tarp to maybe attach to this guy line and attach over there as well and create like a little sheltered area. But I don't know. I mean, I might not even need it. We're gonna have to wait and see how it goes. So tonight's dinner is delicious home-cooked chicken tikka masala with saffron rice. So speaking of water coming in, you can actually bring two of the fly poncho things and you can join them together. So it becomes like a teepee. I might get another one just to try it as a teepee because then you'll have this little mesh bit on one side and a whole massive vestibule to store all your stuff and of course it will stop the rain coming in so I think that'd be really fun although I suppose if you're gonna go to all the effort of two ponchos and the mesh then I suppose you might as well just bring a normal tent and having this beautiful gentle rain for a few hours now and so far so good but it is only a very light rain there's like a few specks of water over the mesh and that's it so far so you might not need the tarp this does seem pretty well made the seams are taped on the fly on the poncho fly and on the bathtub floor of the mesh inner as well i really like it all right I'm going to bed, you guys. I'll see you in the morning. Bye. Morning. I had a lovely sleep. I woke up when it was just starting to get light and it was raining and it's just started raining again. Let's have a little look around and see See what's occurring in here. Oh yeah, it's quite wet under there. Oh yeah, look, inside my pillow is all wet. It's just gorgeous this morning. It's all soggy and drippy. Lovely, I've dried off inside 
my little tent area it's not too bad actually stuff is damp it's not soaking wet so some water's come through this mesh but to be honest that's what you'd expect from this setup i think of course if i do it with the two ponchos joined together that would be really cool but i actually really like having it open like this so you can just see out see all the nature just realizing that i have to get out of my little nook to go get my rucksack it's just there behind me but i can't get to it that's a bit annoying so my little hot water bottle I bought in this litre of water and the water bottle itself, both of which are fairly heavy. And I would say it is a less effective way of warming yourself than using, you know, my little electronic hand warmers. Hand warmer. They're quite heavy also, but they're considerably lighter than a litre of water and a hot water bottle. It just didn't stay hot for very long because it's so small and dinky, I guess. This lasted two three hours maybe not even that and i had to keep obviously boiling water so yeah technology for the win for that one and my little lantern i had this going for nine hours last night and it's been going about an hour this morning and i've already used this gas canister for i write on them here so it's it says three night trip and a one night trip so this is done four days and nights out and so far 10 hours of uh, my little lantern and it's just so cozy i know i don't need it on now because it's light but on a dark rainy morning it just feels gorgeous to have that going it's really really nice i kept my boots in that little bit down there under the fly they've been nice and dry right it's time to go i suppose i didn't use my um little dcf tarp did i in the end i guess if I had put that up last night around this area it would have kept all my stuff dry but I ended up sort of sleeping through it and everything got a bit wet but that's fine it's not been really heavy rain anyway I think in heavy rain I would have needed it just to make my coffee in the morning but yeah it's been okay so I think I'm gonna pack this away and wear the poncho tarp on the way out of here yeah down oh. okay. this is really wet inside I'm still not sure I see the point in these <laughs> poncho shelter things Get it on <laughs> from my rucksack. That is. Can't do it. I'm double jointed, so if I can't do it. <laughs> hey, come on. I can't tell. I don't know if it's on or not. I think it is. Alright. Clear it up. We're in! Hey. Let's go! Oh. That was joyous. Looks quite nice to wear this. Although, that might just be because I've got my posh raincoat underneath. But yeah, it does feel nice and sheltered, it's kind of like wearing a tent. And it looks like you're wearing a tent also, which is fun. So my thoughts on this tent former are, I guess, that a tent is more practical, a tent and a raincoat and rain bottoms. But this is really fun. I think it'll be good with two ponchos joined but then you might as well take a tent for the weight bit. But I tell you what, this poncho by itself would be great to take out hiking as like an emergency shelter. 
on a day hike or a little shelter that you can stop and have your lunch under. So it'd be really great for that. I don't know where I'm going today. I seem to have gotten lost. Oh, oh well, let's just go for a nice walk. Yeah, but I'm impressed with the quality of it, really well made, and I'm looking forward to trying it again with two ponchos to make a big teepee tent. So I think that'll be really fun and a really nice little night out in the woods. So yeah, thanks for sharing this little adventure with me, guys. And I'll see you again soon. Take care, bye.